with the race season being over, uh, doesn't mean that we're done with Loud and Ugly just yet. I've got those ACP headers that I announced a sponsorship for a couple episodes ago that we're going to be uh, fitting the adapter plates onto these uh, heads that I'm running on this truck. I got to do a little bit of uh, porting on them so that they mash up really nice and that way it gets a correct flow through the header. Um, but first, we're going to go enjoy the night. Um, with race season, we're normally leaving on Friday afternoons or Friday mornings to get to the track to be set up or do test and tune. So we've been missing like our local car cruises. Uh, we were able to make it up to do that. So we're going to show a couple clips from cruising around last night with some buddies and then we'll get into the ACP headers on the Loud and Ugly truck. ACP header time. That was fun cruising around with all the buddies last night, uh, but it's time to get back to work. So we've got those 3 8 flanges. I can show you those right here. They've got your standard small block Chevy pattern next to the ports that'll bolt up to the head. And then ACP makes their own flanges on their headers uh, that work with these adapter plates. So like I said, I've just got to port the head side so that it meshes with the heads I'm running. Uh, these are already ported to fit the ACP headers on the other side. So we just got a little bit of grinding to do, and then we can pop one of these on and see what it looks like. The Sanderson Tri-5 headers share the same size collector as the new ACP headers. So this is a three and a half inch collector. I went ahead and made these slip-on um, pieces that go on the end with a little band clamp here. So that the, the uh, one-way valve for the vacuum, the crankcase vacuum, is being pulled from your valve cover here runs down this tube it's got a one-way valve that's welded in at like a 45 degree angle and that little piece of metal goes into the collector i think it's a quarter of an inch uh, not 100 percent sure it's been a while since i made those but we're going to run that for now 
uh, for the rest of this season. This winter I will be upgrading to a pulley driven um, vacuum pump that will actually pull crankcase pressure for me because I'm getting a lot of blow by and oil blown out of the valve covers right now. We're going to go ahead and pop these band clamps off real fast. Nice easy little system that I made here. There we go. Let's let those dangle for now. I'm going to take these header flange bolts out. These ones are connected to the diaper. So I'll loosen those straps up so it's not pulling on them. Get these off and we'll put these adapter plates on and see what it looks like. Fast forward a little bit here. Had to get those broke loose. Now I just got these center two bolts to pop off and then we'll have the little dinky guys out of here. So here's the first look of the ACP next to the Sanderson's that I had on my truck. The ACP's are definitely a lot bigger. A little bit different bend also. Uh, they they went with more of like a rounded looking bend and this is a kind of a straight 90 bend with their pipe bender or it may just look that way because the tubing size difference. These are inch and five eighths ACP at the bend is two inch. Right here is inch and seven eighths right up to the header flange. One thing that I'm liking about the ACPs compared to the Sanderson so far is they've actually got it solid welded all the way around the flange. It does not have that on here. I think that it's maybe welded on the back side of this, but that's one thing that I like is that those are solid welded all the way around. And also, this is the bigger tubes. I can't wait to see what this sounds like. Here are the flanges that we're going to bolt up to the heads on the truck right now. Like I said, these holes that are next to the ports are the original small block style. And then these offset ones are for the flanges on the ACP headers. They countersink these bolts so that it lays flat. And then you put another gasket on the outside and then bolt it down. They send you two sets of gaskets for the flange type. And also, they send you your countersunk bolts with your actual header bolts. This is the first look at these here. Put these countersunk bolts up here. Drop all my tools on the floor. Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of a lip. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt these on. And then try to mark it somehow on the inside there. So that we can see how much we can take off of here. Tell you what, I am very excited to see what these look like on the truck because these tubes are enormous. It's kind of hard to tell on video, but they are definitely different. So this is going to be cool. Oh yeah. Clearance for days. That was one thing that I was just kind of guessing on. Oh, I will have to get their bolts because their bolts are shorter than mine. Wow, those look big. It's hard to tell on video, but those are enormous compared to the little Sanderson's that I had on there before. Let me stand up and I'll show you an above shot of it. You're looking at your difference here. Sanderson on the right, ACP on the left, new sponsor. Can't thank these guys enough. They fit perfect. Cannot wait to hear what this thing sounds like with them on there. But we've got to get those flanges ported out and then send everything off to Jet Hot Coat and we'll go from there. Swap this over to Super Zoom so it might look a little funny. We're going to take a paint marker and we're going to trace the inside edge of these. This is the back side of the flange that bolts to the head. And then I got a fiance who's almost my wife next week who's a dental hygienist. And she's got this cool little scribe pick here. We're going to see if that takes the paint off when we reach behind and, and scrape around. All right, we've got the paint going, so we're going to go ahead and trace this inside lip. So now with the paint dry, 
it's not smearing or anything. We're gonna bolt these up and then we'll run the scribe around the inside and see if it leaves a line. Putting all the bolts in just to ensure that it's completely flat against the head. That way the scribe doesn't slide between the adapter and the head and, and draw the wrong line or something. So now that they're all snugged up, we can go ahead and run that scribe around in there on each port. And the moment of truth, let's see. Yeah, it worked. So I can actually see a little line on there. I'll show you guys in just a second. You can actually see the little ring around there in the paint. And that is where we're going to have to port these out to on this side of the flange. So it seemed to work. We're going to go ahead and do the other side now. This is the other header flange that I just did. So the bottom lip didn't need any on any of them. And you can see the line around there. It's kind of hard to see on the camera because the lighting in here. But you can see it pretty good in person. So we're going to take these over to the shop and we'll dremel those out and make them look real nice. All right, everybody, we are back at the Loud and Ugly Garage Lab. I got my lab coat on here. My name is Mark. I work at Ford. Just kidding. This is my dad's lab jacket. But we've got this little uh, die grinder with a burr, burr bit on it, and we're just going to burr out where we marked over where the truck's at so that we can get these jet hot coated and put back on the truck. This is what these plates turned out like. So there's no burrs in there. Um, clean that up after I burr ground it uh, with a little scotch Bright pad. So all that stuff is nice and smooth. Those are ported out just so that when the uh, port on the head lines up with this on this side, there's a little bit over here. So we took a little material out. This is smooth now so that there's not just a a little lip that the air tries to pass by it'll actually cup around that a lot easier now so hopefully you get some good performance out of these i'm um, excited to see how these work on the truck and what they look like after jet hot coating there you have it that's what's going to happen some jet hot coating um this week is my wedding week so i'm going to be very busy i'm not going to be able to put out an episode uh just going to enjoy life like i said in the last episode uh, take my new wife, Jordan, down to Florida is where we're going for our honeymoon. We're super excited for that. Hopefully uh, the natural disasters that have been happening haven't taken out where we're going. And obviously prayers go out to the families who were affected by that. Um, but I'm hoping that we can go down there, enjoy our honeymoon, and then we'll come back. We're going to have these ACP headers all jet hot coated. We're going to slap them on the truck. I'll show you a sound difference, performance difference all in a test and tune video. Uh, we'll try to make it out to maybe Lapeer or Mylan's test and tune. Um, I can let you guys know when we plan on doing that if y'all wanna come out and watch. Um, but next year, we'll have a better race schedule for everybody too, let you guys know where and when we're gonna be. But uh, for the time being, we're gonna have some fun with uh, family here this week. And then Jordan and I are going down as finally after 10 years of being together, uh, husband and wife so I'm excited for that and we'll catch you guys here in a couple weeks when we're back from all that